Well, hi guys, welcome back to the Needy Homesteader channel and day five of our sourdough starter series. But I have to add a little disclaimer. So one of you pointed out to me that somewhere online you found that there was an error in the book <sighs> on yesterday's feed, today's feed, and tomorrow's feed. So I tried to find it. I couldn't find it. If you know where that is, leave it down below for me, okay? But I did go over, um, and now I had only really kind of focused on the principal recipe, but I went over to uh, his website and I did notice that his feed for day four, five, and six is different than the feed that he has in the book. Now, I don't do a lot of things online, you guys, because it's kind of complicated for me, okay? So, um, so this is why I like books. <sighs> I'm not going to lie when I say I'm a little annoyed that um, something this major was not caught in the book. I mean, this is a massive book, and it isn't cheap. Um, and when you're teaching people to make bread, especially sourdough bread, and your sourdough recipe is wrong in a $40 book, I kind of have an issue with that. But I'll get a, I, I won't jump on that soapbox. So <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to pivot. We're going to pivot in my book. I made the, um, the adjustments that he has online. Okay, so we're gonna go back to this feed. And then I'll be feeding my starter once a week and putting it in the fridge um, until I'm able and have the time to start making bread with it. So I will not be feeding mine twice a day. I'm gonna be doing this, um, and it does say refresh it twice a day. I'm not doing that, I'm gonna do it once a day. Um, if you wanna do it twice a day over 12 hours, you can do that. I'm just not. So, um, <laughs> but try to trust the process. Mauricio, is that your name? Maurizio, Maurizio, Leo. I tried to trust your process. And it is a beautiful starter, okay? It's a beautiful starter. But my guy, <laughs> if you have, I don't know. I don't know what you, I, I've never written a book, so I don't know what it would re have required to fix the error, uh, maybe a better pre proofreader, I don't know, but that that is extremely upsetting to me. So uh, you guys can chime in on how you feel about that, but we're gonna pivot, we're gonna pivot, and um, we're going to adjust the, the, the feed today, okay, and tomorrow. So um, if you have the book, make the changes in there. Um, it's gonna be 75 grams of carryover, 50 grams of carryover, or 50 grams of each of the rye and the white flour and 115 grams of water. He recommends doing it twice a day. I'm only gonna do it once, okay? All right, so I'm gonna spin you around and let's feed our starter. I just wrote that in my book, okay? Uh, you guys, all right, we're pivoting because life is full of pivots. Okay, life is full of pivots, right? So we're gonna be okay. This starter, I'm gonna show you what mine looks like. I did use a, I'm gonna try to aim you over a little bit. Um, I did use, this is a seedling pad that you use to start seedlings. And what I did is I just kind of encircled it like that. You see that, like that? And then I put my starter in there and I just loosely had it like that so um, it stayed a little bit warmer so um, it still looks really good let's see so I'm not too worried that you know we didn't damage it or anything like that we're just gonna feed it more okay we're just gonna feed it more so let me aim me back down to my scale uh, and I still have a little bit of dry. That's not a big deal. Somebody asked me if that was mold. This is not mold, okay? And it'll come off just like this. See how thin this is? Comes off in one piece like that. It's just the skin. It's just the skin. So we're just gonna take that off. I'm gonna discard that in the garbage. And um, 
the rest of the starter is absolutely fine. So, um, but it does look very hungry. <laughs> okay, so um, we are going to get some in a ramekin. And let me open this back up. We are getting 75 grams of this. So, let's scoot you a little closer here. Come a little closer to me, you guys. Now I'm going to do more than 75 because I don't want to have to worry about scraping the ramekin so much. But 75 makes a lot more sense to me <laughs> than 20. That was low. That was very little. And, I, you know, trusting the process, I should have, I, I, but I felt it. Okay, so I got 97 in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go wash this out now. And then I'll bring it back and we'll get it in the jar. So, this is already bubbling, if you can see that. So it looks really good. It does look really good. So I've pretty much cleaned my jar. <sighs> Let's see. We're going to tear that out. And then let me grab my spinach. Looks even better quick wash too. Um, <laughs> like I double and triple checking myself now. Okay, 75. Ready? Yeah, this is really thin. When it's really thin like this, you know it's hungry. Now, if I notice that I have to feed it twice a day, I will. I just never had that need okay I'm gonna be close I'm gonna be close I'm gonna be close it's a little over I'm gonna be fine with it yeah it's just a little over and I'm fine with that okay so there's that all right now we're gonna go ahead and we are going to um, measure our water okay let me go grab some water okay so we're going to get that off of there like that, and then we'll put our beaker on there. Today I, I'm remembering to use that. So now it is 115 grams of water. one over I'm fine with that <laughs> okay so I'm gonna put that right into the starter and give that a stir because this was so much easier to stir for my wrists so if you guys have arthritis or um, carpal tunnel or you've had surgery on your wrist like I have um, and you've got hardware in your wrist um, give this uh, a try um, because it's a lot easy to stir. Okay, so then after that, we're gonna go ahead and add this ramekin here and we're gonna tear that out. And grab a spoon. And we are adding 50 grams of rye and 50 grams of, all, of uh, bread flour. So. like always a smidgen okay because I have some on my scale I'm just gonna kind of wipe that away and make sure that's 50 see went down a little bit okay add a little bit more okay so there goes 50 so now we're gonna put that and get our funnel You guys have helped me so much with all these little tips and tricks that it really uh, made doing this a lot easier for me, like using the funnel 
adding the water first. I, I love you guys so much. You have no idea. And I'm facing another, actually two more big health fights ahead of me. And you guys give me something to come back to that feels healthy and normal and I love you guys so much so thank you for being here I appreciate it um okay let's get the ramekin again let me clean this off a little bit and we'll tear that and then um now we're gonna add the bread flour More than 50 grams of red flour. Okay, there is 50. So take this out. in there. Okay. And then I'm going to give this another stir. All right, you guys, there we have it. There it is. It smells really good. And Maurizio, if you happen to watch this, if you want to come on and I will pin your comment and you're going to let us know Ladies, gentlemen, pivoting, it's going to be okay. Your starter's going to be just fine. We would appreciate that. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. From my experience with making sourdough starter, it's pretty resilient. Um, and so as long as we keep it fed and we keep it warm, it should be okay. Again, I forgot my, I was, I was out at my greenhouse yesterday with Julie too. And I grabbed those spray bottles and then I forgot them. I put them down when we were looking at seeds. Ah, so anyway, so I will try to grab those um, today when I leave out of here. I got church tonight, prayer meeting and Bible study. We are in 1 Samuel with Saul and David, which is such a good, I, I love in-depth Bible studies. So, all right. So, we're going to put the band back on. And today is Wednesday. So, I'm going to put my band um, right about where my starter is. And I'm going to have it on Wednesday. There it is. And then I'm going to put it right over here with this little warmer. And get all this out of the way. And get all this washed for tomorrow. And then what I did is I just took, I just rolled up a cloth and kind of put it right in there like that. And so that's how I have it set up on my counter. So, um, all right. Okay. And with that, you guys, we're pivoting. I feel like the past two and a half years of my life has taught me to surrender and to pivot. <laughs> so... I'm not surprised that this is any different. You're just coming along with me for this ride. I think everything will be fine. Um, but we're learning to surrender and to pivot. And you guys, after all this is done, um, I have like a little announcement about what I kind of want to do as far as talking about grief and healing and moving forward and finding your joy. So um, look for that after the series, okay? But tomorrow, I'll see you for day six. All right, God bless and I'll see you tomorrow.